Russian President Vladimir Putin has stopped flying to Sochi out of fear for his own life after drone attacks on objects in the city, the Russian publication Agents Vo reported citing sources. Can Ukrainian UAVs really pose a threat to the Russian president's plane? Charter 97 media outlet asked this question to the Ukrainian military political observer of the information resistance group Alexander Kovalenko. I will start with the distance from the nearest zone of probable launch of Ukrainian drones to Sochi. If we are talking about the Kherson region, then this is about 700 kilometers. If we were talking about the Zaporizhia region, 500 kilometers. When drones are launched from the territory of Ukraine to the Russian Federation at a certain point, even over temporarily occupied territories, they begin to be recorded by air defense systems. This is not a surprise factor. They are recorded, Alexander Kovalenko said. According to him, the average speed of a UAV is 180 kilometers an hour. It takes about three hours to fly 500 kilometers to Sochi. And here the question arises, can they warn flight one three hours in advance by recording a Ukrainian drone that is heading to Sochi? Of course they can. I don't think that the reason Putin stopped flying to Sochi is Ukrainian drones. I have serious doubts about this. If Ukraine had, for example, ballistic missiles with a range of 1,000 kilometers or even cruise missiles with a range of up to 700 kilometers, then in that case, yes, we could say that there is a certain risk. But if we are talking about drones, a rather slow target, then the question is different. To shoot down or not? To shoot down, he added. Alexander Kovalenko said that Russian air defense in matters of destroying Ukrainian drones, as we have seen recently, to put it mildly, does not demonstrate a particularly high level of effectiveness, but an aircraft at a speed of 700 to 800 kilometers an hour will easily escape from a drone, having received a warning of one to two hours. Iranian President Massoud Pazeshkian criticized Israel on Tuesday, describing its government as barbaric. Europe and America have placed a barbaric government here, and some people who claim to support human rights defend it, Pazeshkian said. He made the comments on Tuesday during a ceremony to unveil clay tablets from the Achaemenid Empire. The tablets have been recently returned by the US to Iran. Last week, Iran launched a barrage of some 180 ballistic missiles at Israel. Iran said it was in retaliation for a series of devastating blows Israel has landed in recent weeks against the Iran-backed militant group Hezbollah in Lebanon, which has been firing rockets into Israel since the war in Gaza began. It was the latest in a series of rapidly escalating attacks between Israel and Iran and its Arab allies that threatens to push the Middle East closer to a region-wide war. Israel has vowed to respond to the missile attack, without saying when or how. اینجا گذاشتن اروپا و آمریکا و, و یه آدمایی که دم از حقوق بشر میزنن ازش دفاع میکنن هیچ چارچوب انسانی رو مراعات نمیکنه زن و بچه و پیر و جوان رو راحت بمباران میکنه آقای این موضوعی خیلی جالبه دم از حقوق بشر میزنن میگن شما چرا یه قاتل رو اعدام میکنید کسی نیست به این نامردا بگه چرا شما زن و بچه رو بی گناه میکشید